When we're over 50, or in my case, over 60, we can still do the current makeup trends. We just need to make sure the way we apply the makeup isn't aging us. Now that it's the fall season, I'm into the latte makeup trend. And this fall, a glowing look is also on trend. I'm doing a tutorial for you to demonstrate my version of the glowy latte makeup look. I'll show you which products I'm using and how I'm applying them. Let's get right to it. All right, I'm all set. I'm gonna clip my hair back. I just wanna let you know one of the things I did to give myself some glow today, I mixed the Clear and Self Tan Drops, three drops into my daily moisturizing lotion. The Burgundy from Paula's Choice is my sunscreen. That takes a little time to come up, but it's a really nice look. I'm also going to use my City Lips Plumping Gloss in clear and just put that on my lips. You'll notice my lips get a little pinker while I'm applying my makeup. Now, <laughs> to really get my glow on today, I'm going to use a primer, which I normally don't, but if I want to get a little more glow, I have this Physician's Formula Spotlight. This is a primer that has some illuminating properties. And I'm just gonna do like one pump and decide if I want more. But I'm just gonna put that all over my face. I'm not putting it under my eyes, but I am putting it on the rest of my face. It'll just give me a glow. And then I'm ready to tackle my dark under eye circles and my tear troughs. I'm starting with my Pixie by Petra. An under eye corrector or any face, you can use it anywhere on your face and a concealer brush. And by the way, all products are listed in the description box below the video. So if you're watching on a phone or tablet, tap more twice. On a computer, you click more once and then scroll down. I'll also have all the products in the first comment below. So here I'm just applying it and then I will smooth it out with my finger, not pressing hard of course, and I'm, I'm not using my regular mirror today, my regular makeup mirror. So this is challenging for someone my age who has vision issues for close up. And you notice I am putting some of that on the inner corner of my eye as well. And I like to put this under to color correct because then I'll put the foundation on top. Now, I have some other color things going on in my face. I was a freckle face kid, so I knew this would happen someday. The foundation I'm using is more of a medium coverage, so I'm not really worried about that. And I'm not going with a heavy foundation today. And you could use a BB cream or something else lighter, but this is nice to just take whatever's left over on the brush and go over those spots. Now I'm ready for foundation and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their luminous foundation. So yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm using a luminous primer and the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'll just pump a little bit out. I like to dot it on and start to smear it around a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm going to use a slightly damp beauty blender to blend it out. And then after that, I'll go over it with a brush that I use for foundation. So this is where I like to use a really close up mirror. I mean like a 10 times magnification mirror. And I have a little one here and my slightly damp beauty blender. Cause I like to see that it's really looking good on the pores. And ladies with a 10 times magnification mirror, you can really see like you did when you were in your 20s. I love this foundation. Sometimes I've seen pictures of myself or a video and I think my foundation looks really good. What was I wearing that day? And I'll check the description box and see that it's this one. Typically Ulta has it and they have testers so you can test for different colors. Then I'll use this e.l.f. brush which has a flat end. And I'll just go over the edges really well. I wanna make sure it's blending into my neck okay. And you notice I went really gently over that under eye area with both the sponge and the brush because I don't wanna mess up what I just did over there. Okay, now part of having a nice 
look for me is also brightening. So even though the latte look has these browns and beiges and creamy colors, I like a brighter look. It's more youthful. So what I'm gonna do is go in with a lighter concealer as a brightener. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and the Ultra Creamy, all of the color listed below. I do like this stuff and I recently did a video where I reviewed a whole bunch of concealers for this purpose. So I'm just gonna dot it on in these areas. And then I'm going to use another beauty blender, slightly damp and I'm just going to blend that out. So the idea is to choose a color that's a little bit lighter so you get a little bit of brightening there without going raccoon eye, right? So next, I'm gonna do some contouring. Now in the past, the contour sticks were really orangey on me and I didn't like the orangey look. So even my latte look today is not going to be orangey. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their contour stick in the color Mink. I like it because it's more taupey. Thank you to Natalie the Beauty Diva for telling me about this. Everybody's face is different, so you have to figure out where's a good place to put it on you. So I put a little bit on my forehead. I'm putting a little bit under my cheekbone. I don't like my jowls, so I'm putting some there. A little bit over here, a lot more in the jowls. I'm gonna put a little bit under my lip. There, and I'm gonna go down my nose. I notice my nose is changing form as I get older. And then I'm going to use a flat stipple brush to buff that out. Depending on the light, you'll see it or you won't see it, but it should be subtle. That's the whole point of that. Now I'm gonna go in with one more highlighter. I've noticed when I highlight the sides of my nose, it looks really good all day. So I'm using this Emlyn, they call it their under eye cover cream. I don't use it under my eyes anymore, I could, but this lasts, it's creamy and it lasts for several years. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on both sides of my nose and then I'm going to buff that out with another buffing brush. And then I will set the under eye. Now, I don't like a lot of powder on my face. I am going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is really affordable. I'm going to use, this is a makeup setting spray by Urban Decay and a brush that's about this size. I'm gonna spray a little bit of, that wasn't enough, spray on the back of my hand tap my ring finger into it. And when I do this process, it makes the under eye area look so smooth and it will last all day, which is amazing at my age. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the powder and very lightly tap that area. And now before I get to my latte face, I am going to take a big fluffy brush and I am going to put a little bit of this on my cheeks because, and out, oh, I've noticed when I film, I look shiny in the middle, but I'm gonna be using powder products for my face. So here's the thing, I have three bronzers and I don't go super dark with bronzers because I'm more fair. So one of my favorites is the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer. I don't like the packaging, it's way too big like to travel with. And everybody I know, the lid falls off. But this one's beautiful. Then I have another one. This is kind of a classic, the Too Faced. I have the, the milk chocolate, still smells like chocolate. And then the other one I like is the Pixie by Petra. They have a couple colors in this. So the Too Faced is more matte and the Pixie has a little luminosity and then the L'Oreal has more luminosity. So maybe what I'll do, because I'm making this up as I go along, and I might not even need blush. I did bring a blush with me. I'm gonna start with the Pixie by Petra. I do like buying Pixie products directly from Pixie. If you buy, right now as I'm filming this, if you buy $35 worth of product from them, shipping is free. So my lip gloss is from Pixie, and my under eye correctors from Pixie, and this 
So I can easily have $35 worth. All right, I'm gonna go in with this. The thing is to do your bronzer and not overdo it again, so that it so that it's not aging. So I'm going cheek, I'm going a little bit along the base. You might have a collection of bronzers at home already that, you know, you can just pull them out and decide which ones you want to use to get this look. You might not even have to go buy something. I'm gonna go in with this one anyway, the Lumi. And I'm only gonna do it on the cheek. And I want to know in the comments what products you're using that you're loving for fall. Just go ahead and tell me. I'm looking at my monitor, I'm looking at my mirror. I might not even need blush, right? Except that I am a YouTuber, so of course I do blush. I'll try some anyway. So I brought a drugstore brand. This is Milani and the Rose Diorio. It's one of their baked blushes, so it has some glow, right? It does, but I'm not gonna do much. Okay, not doing much. And then I'll buff it out. And just for fun, since we're on this glow thing, I am gonna do a little bit of highlighter. Now I have an e.l.f. highlighter, which is perfectly fine. It's in the back of my cabinet though, and the lid fell off. So I grabbed this one from Jacqueline called Iced. I bought what I bought the mini. So you don't need more than that. And I'm just gonna do the top of my cheekbone. Right, that's all I'm gonna do. All right, now on to the eyes. By the way, do you notice my lips? They're pinker. They're a little bit plumper from that plumping gloss. I'm going to start my eyes with an eyeliner. This is a dark brown from Lancome. I love it, this is a pencil obviously. It starts out very long and I've had it for a long time. Now, some of you only do your eyeliner after your eyeshadow. I do it before, cause I like to tone it down I don't do tight lining, I can't. I just can't. My eyes just water and go crazy. So I'm just gonna line the top and because I don't have hooded eyes, so I can do a little bit of a wing at the end. I know some of uh, YouTubers who have hooded eyes, they stop doing eyeliner and they look perfectly fine. Now, the thing I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna go over that with a very small brush from Ruffer. And the palette I chose for today, so a lot of times I'm doing multiple, but I'm doing the e.l.f. the new classics. This is great for fall and they still have it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put, they do have a dark brown in here that isn't too orangey. It's called Earth. And I'm gonna put a little bit on that rougher and I'm just gonna go over that eyeliner. It smokes it out. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left over and I'm just gonna line the under part of the eye about halfway, not all the way across. And that ensures I get something down there, but without it being a really defined line. It's just that smoked out look. Now I'm ready to do my brows. We're gonna speed that up. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color taupe. And I think it goes good with, you know, my hair's highlighted. I'm a brunette, but I'm blonde. <laughs> so we'll speed that up. All right, now I'm ready for eyeshadow. So like I showed you in this palette, I have so many colors to choose from. Now this one that's the most love, of course, that is the matte creamy. So I'm just gonna start with that color. Now I have several to choose from. I Usually I would go with a lighter color for my transition area above the crease and into the crease, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one that's kind of beige. There we go. And I'm using a rougher brush number 15, and I'm just going above that crease area so that when I look at you straight ahead, you can see a little bit of that color when my eyes are fully open. And then I have my trusty blending brush 
to blend out. Now I'm gonna take this tiny little angled brush and I'm going to go in with a darker color and I'm gonna go matte still. So I'm gonna go into that earth color that I did earlier. And I'm looking down at a mirror right now, but if I hold it up, I wanna see that I can see a little bit of that color when my eyes are fully open and then blend that out. Now this palette has several shimmers and they're not glitter. I love that they're shimmers and there are probably three that I could choose for my lid color. I could do this one that has a little more gold in it or this one, which is still goldish, but brighter and then this one that is really lighter. I love a light color on my lid. I'm gonna use a little brush for that. I think I'm gonna go for the one that's more of the medium of those three. This one is called Glamour. And I'm gonna put it on most of the lid, mm, two thirds, because I wanna choose another color shimmer darker for the outer part of the mobile lid. Okay, I'm not blending that quite yet. Interestingly, I love this black cherry in the corner. You can see I've already hit pan, but I don't think I'm gonna use that today. Instead, I'm gonna go with this one called Rose Gold. I know it's orangey, but it's just gonna be this little bit. I mean, you're gonna use a tiny little brush. I'm gonna build it up. You notice I'm just doing the outer mobile lid with this one. And this is why I like shimmer instead of glitter. So many palettes today, one I return, I'm like, oh, that glitter. Glitter pieces are just so big and they get on your face and they don't blend well. Shimmers are just better. I'll be glad when they stop making those glitters. Then I'm gonna blend all this. Now I have two more things to brighten that eye area. And first I'm gonna Use a brush to just brush away any extra stuff. This Stila eyeliner in the color Abalone, it's so great. I'm just gonna put it in this inner corner and you notice it doesn't stand out. It just catches the light and that's all I do with that one. Then I'm gonna go into that inner corner again with this Benefit Cookie. This is another highlighter. I saw young girl, young woman, she might've been a teenager at Alta who worked there and I said, well, what do you have on that? And her part of the eye, I'm using a tiny little brush and I'm just gonna dab it onto that inner eye area, that inner corner. Oh, making a mess. Now I'm gonna put on my mascara, but I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. I was a little torn on lip colors and what I was gonna do, but let's see what you think of this. So I'm gonna start with a lip liner. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I just sharpened it and I'm not taking it into the corners. I got my dad's small mouth and lips. I didn't get my mother's full lips. And I'm actually gonna fill in this pencil lightly into the whole lip. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a couple colors. I have L'Oreal, two L'Oreal's, one in Tropical Coral, which is coral, and one in Ferris Nude, which is more of a pinky beige, but it's too beige for me, I think, by itself. And then I'm gonna top it with the Pixie lip gloss in the color cookie. Okay, so let's start with the Tropical Coral. And I'm actually going to blot that with a tissue. All right, kind of a summery look. If it was summer, I'd just stop here. And then I'm gonna go with this Ferris Nude. Okay, and then just for some shimmer, I'm going to go with the Pixie lip gloss. Okay, let's see how that looks. And get Here's the finished look from further away. Let me know in the comments which products you're loving for the fall to create your own fall makeup looks. I recently tested a $6 mascara that dupes for my favorite $28 mascara. Tap its image on the right side of the screen to watch it next, and I'll see you over there in that video.